Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Spectral Slash, a free deck building action roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out here today. It's available over on itch.io, the link at the top of the description, but let's pop on in and see what it's all about. It looks really cool. Left stick, D-pad to move, X to jump. Got some standard stuff there. L1 to dash, I did adjust some controls. You can dash multiple times in a row. Okay. Square to attack. Attacking deals no damage. Attack to gain energy. Okay. I'm very small. Use energy to play cards. R1 to play the current card. Quick jabs. What on earth? Okay, we've got Psychic Blades. Cross Slash. Your cards are always drawn in the same order. Okay. What is going on there with the giant bubble? The fact that attacks do no damage is really wacky. Tutorial complete. Hey, I love it. Minute in and we're done with the tutorial. Enjoyed. All right. Uh, in we go. New run. Select a starting trinket. Oh my god, there's so many. Max energy, max HP to... Let's start with the one on the far left, just so we know, you know, easier to track which ones we've used. Restore two health when an enemy dies. Select a loadout. Dang, we gotta start. Okay, I do know that there's like, you know, different cards. We can modify the cards. It's in a deck builder fashion. Um, so we did the brawler. This is what we did in the one minute in the tutorial there. We also have the gunslinger, basic attack, bullet barrage, starting deck, rapid arrows, barrage of arrows, bouncing and piercing shot, homing and growing shot. Sure, right? Sure. Let's give it a look. Okay, so now we actually, like, have a gun. Oh, boy. Okay, that man jumped. Get all the way back over here. But yeah, getting used to the fact that our attacks... Our standard attacks don't do damage is going to be the big thing, obviously. Like, because that's very different. Whoop. Kind of just our way of generating mana, I guess. Oh my word. Yeah, I, it's so easy to lose myself. That's my biggest thing right now. All right, pop him, lock him. Good. Oh god. Um. So what do these guys do? They kind of like jump and they throw like a weird bouncy shot. Yep. I was going to say, I'm going to probably get hit in this room now that we got a whole bunch of fools going on. All right. Okay, somebody just walk into my bullets, please. They actually did. Thank you. The bouncing shot, I like it a lot, too. All right. Neat. Very, very neat. Choose a card from your deck to modify. Rapid Arrows, Bouncing Piercer. I do like that. Homing and growing the further it goes. Let's go with the Bouncing Piercer. Fire a blast that grows stronger the farther it goes for every energy this card costs. Bleed enemies for 80% of the damage over three seconds. Create a homing flare when this damages enemies. That sounds good considering it seems like it could hit a lot. Interesting. Choose a trinket. Restore two energy whenever an enemy dies. Increase damage output when below half health. Increased movement speed and dash distance. Restore two energy when an enemy dies. I mean, that could really keep our flow going. Sure. We heal and gain energy when an enemy dies. Enemy damage. Okay. Gotcha. I have a sneaking suspicion things are going to get real tough real fast. Okay. Ooh, boy. Yep. That move is already doing uh, quite a bit more. Okay, I was hoping we... Okay, we got our, our bouncing shot. Lure the bat up. Lure the bat up. Thank you. Hello there, mister. All right. 
That one little change and I feel like a hell of a lot stronger. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I feel super weak. So I got hit once. Yeah, I'm liking the growth shots. The arrows are a little bit tougher, but I'd imagine they're probably doing a bit more as a result of the fact that they're a bit tougher to actually aim. Okay. I'm out. Skip card. Oh, pick a card to add. Psychic blades, magic blades that slash with you. Slash with you. Damage per blade 10. Quick jabs, pulse laser. I mean, I am at a distance, so it feels like the pulse laser is probably a better idea. I do wonder. So, this was. They slash with me. Do they hit the enemies when I hit them with a bullet, then? Because with the other characters, when I hit them with a melee. Let's go for the pulse laser. Like, it just seems more logical right now, right? We're at a distance. Create a homing flare whenever you play a card. Increase your gun rate of fire and ammo. Damage output went below. Yeah, a better gun. Let's just get a better gun. Open utility chest. Wait, what? Increase max number of dashes by one? Crisp Dollar William. Maybe enemies will drop more of the good stuff if you catch my drift. Thank you for listening. Is that just money? Is money the good stuff? Oh, wait. There's also some kind of shrine. It's really easy to lose track of stuff. Ah, trade health in order to get some goods. What do we got up here? Two extra damage. Let's... I like that all that's options. For the first run here, let's just... I mean, I'm going to inevitably die very soon here, but I like that that stuff is there to encourage and reward people who are, you know, going to be doing a better job. I think that that's a good call. What is happening? Where am I? Okay, we want to get really far away before we throw a growth shot. It's the best I could do right there. For distance. Get out. Ooh, boy. The fact that I can even tell, even slightly, where I am in this is amazing. Blast him. Okay, back it up, back it up. We got our bouncing piercer. It's gonna be so good here. Holy crap! Yeah, the bouncing piercer is wonderful. Got our growth shots, and I did it in his face. It's the exact wrong way to use it, but oh well. Now we just spam until man dies. Oh, we got a boss. He looks just like a bigger version of the other... Other guy. Is he? Um? Is he gonna do that again? I'm just trying to learn, man. Just let me... Let me learn. I mean, the fact that we can just... Okay. I'm just trying to process exactly how, oh my lord, how to even play again. Spam, spam, spam. Yeah, okay. I was thinking that that was going to be this attack. No? The one where he does the uh, the laser beam blast? I'm just, I guess I'm just going to kill him. Alright. That was brutal. Yeah, figuring out which of his tiny little pixel animations are going to be, um, the screen-wide laser blast versus the ch sword chop, because you do have to dodge them completely differently. Um, so this already has something. We can modify it again. Fire a laser that does 60% card damage when this card is played. Orbiting flame for every energy this card costs. A damaging pulse when this card is played. Sure. I'll do the laser. Modifier added. Every three cards played restores an energy, increase movement speed and dash distance, restore restore two health when an enemy spawns. I'm seeing as I'm at 34 health after that boss, that sounds like a good call. Good god. Yeah, enemy damage gets nasty. Okay, this is a different type of enemy. I don't know what he do yet. 
I now know what he do. Okay. Not that bad, actually. He will be annoying when there's other enemies up in the mix, I'm sure. Alright. You know, my bouncing shot? Good. I'm... No idea, man. Where are we? Let me double check some settings here. Is there slow down on hit down parallax? I already turned down the uh, screen shake and stuff. Yeah, there's nothing for like highlight your character, which I n don't often feel the need for a setting like that, but I definitely do in this game. Cut. Okay. Oh boy. Oh my god. You son of a gun, man. But I guess, like, what will you highlight yourself? If, if it was red, then you're going to have even more problems. Get out. Uh-oh. Dash out. No, no, no. All right. Want to get up and get my... Oh, good dash there. Want to get my bouncy shot going right in the middle here. There we go. I think the educated guess would be that, that uh, the laser beam is going to go through walls. Since the, uh, you know, the targeting laser seems to go through walls. I can only assume, right? I'm back at full health. Just like that. Pick a card. Pierce, pierce forward while dashing another barrage of arrows. I guess I don't understand why, for the most part, you'd even want to pick another... Rapid arrows. I definitely don't really want like close range stuff right now. I'm gonna skip because the stuff we have is good. So I want to be more likely to get that stuff. Every three cards played restores an energy. That's kind of the highest equivalent of uh, getting a damage up that I can see right now. Medical chest. Yeah. Create a damaging pulse whenever you play a card. Utility. Every three cards restores an energy. That is quite good. Random chest, it seems like. Basic attacks now do a bit of damage. Increase damage output when below half health. Okay. Increase max HP by two when you kill an enemy up to a max of... Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so this shrine's gone. I don't really need more money. I feel like Crisp Dollar... What is it? Crisp Dollar William? Whatever the hell. Seemed to make me sort of get just a silly amount of money, I guess? Alright. Uh, what? Okay, so these guys do... I'm still processing their attack exactly. God, I... I don't have a great way to attack enemies above me. Okay, so they do it in a, uh, uh, like a plus pattern. Which is just sort of tough to see in, uh, the situation where they're often losing their bullets. I'm gonna just kill this guy with my normal bullet so I can have max energy when the next guys spawn. It might take a million years, though. Oh my god. Get up here. Dude. Dude. Yeah. Okay. That upgrade that made our bulls do damage is not a ton. But we were able to save that, which is nice. Okay. That. No! Woo! Where am I? Yeah, we need it. We need to use growth shot better. It's just easy when you're in the midst to kind of just like spam. Like, pick a lot of, sh you know, shots and upgrades that can be used together. Feels like the logical call right now. Bouncing shot. Yeah, no! Yeah, no! Alright. Uh, so these guys have the slow homing shots. It's gonna be a little bit... I genuinely lost track of where I was, which, again, is happening a lot right now. Yup. No, sir. 
Okay, he can hit me up here. We gotta be careful of Swordman. Okay. Destroy Swordman. Destroy Swordman with a barrage. If I'm under half, I do a lot of extra damage, though, so there is that to look forward to, at least. Nine damage, 13 plus. I kind of just want to keep upgrading the same thing, if I'm going to be real. Fire, so I'm assuming this means fire another blast that goes with it. Create an orbiting scimitar. Damaging pulse. Sure. A little bit disynergistic with something we want to be far from an enemy for, though. But oh well. Basic attacks can now deal a bit of damage. I'm assuming a bit more. Six HP at the start of battle. An additional jump. Let's go with even more damage on our, like, actual attack here. Restore 2 HP when an enemy spawns. Gain an additional jump. Generate a homing flare when you do an... Okay, whenever you play card, get, take the additional jump. I'll take a heal. All right, heal two when an enemy spawns. Then can we afford this one too? We can afford so much. Increase movement speed and dash distance. It's pretty noticeable, yeah. All right, I'm out. I'm out. Give me a long hallway room. Uh, we can work with this. We will probably fight like another boss if I were to take an educated guess. Woo boy. Sir, you gotta die. Thank you. Get out, get out, get out. How much should we do with the standard shot? We do four. So yeah, it, it increases. Grow the shot. Just spam it immediately. Got our bouncing piercing. Okay, wait until they're kind of more lined up. Not happening. Oh boy. That worked all right. You get a little bit of air time whenever we fire a bullet, which is nice. Ooh. I thought that maybe if I fired the homing shot early, it would, like, loop back around, you know? God dang it, I saw that one coming. But there's... Not that there's nothing I could do, but there's nothing I could mentally do. Oh my god, all right. All right, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Spam. Get down. We just need to get on, get them all to the bottom row, and then spam. Ah, I got. It. They're all lasermen. Okay. When you have a bunch of enemies of the same type, it's so much easier to fight them. Flying man. I don't know what you do. Oh, oh, that was not the attack. That was projecting what the attack is going to be. Interesting. It's actually quite generous of you. I actually find it... Knowing that now, I find him to be an easier enemy than the first boss. Okay, what's this? There's a lot of visuals for what is actually not a lot of attack on that one. Yeah, that, that boss is easier than the first one. Gen genuinely. Oh, no! No! Oh, endless. You can go endless. I'll tell you what. I am not going to go endless, even though I... I, I, usually I'm not an endless guy, but in this I'm like, okay, that's a pretty, it's a pretty compact run. So going endless makes a little bit more sense to be like, eh, you know what? I want a 40 minute run out of this guy or whatever. What is a challenge mode, by the way? I'm going to do a normal thing, probably. More enemies, more aggressive. Healing is less potent. Bosses are more aggressive. Only one life. I have more than one life? I mean, I didn't know that was a thing. But I want to see a different uh, different character. See some different moves and stuff. 
So this is this is not that big of a deal, right? Like it's just kind of like where we start. I feel like uh, knowing what I know now, increased energy sounds good. Astronomer, basic attack, orbital star, spirit fire, Saturn swords, bolt collar, ninja, quick pierce, quick pierce, quick pierce. <laughs> Pulse laser, warp strike, simpleton. Honestly, this sounds good, right? Like having one card means you can just keep upgrading it and it's the only thing you play. Like, sounds good. But I'm going to go for the astronomer here. What on earth? Oh my god. Even wackier. Spirit fire. I have to wait until it's in the circle. Okay, so what does Saturn Swords do? Oh my god, it's an orbiting strike around me. Oh my lord. Bolt collar. It's around me as well. Okay. I had to learn what my attacks do. In a safe environment. Spirit's fire. My lord, this character is gonna be so much tougher. Keep him in there. Okay, that does 40 damage. Which I think is a lot. Spirit fire is around us. Does 10 damage per. Okay, get in there. Okay, so that's not a one shot, but it does a ton of damage. Spirit Fire is the close range. It only uses up three. I will say this thing definitely makes it a lot easier to tell where my character is. So this looks like the swords, we can be using it as much as we want. The other, uh, the Spirit's Fire, it's like it goes away when you use like three of them or whatever. Cut. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Slash. I want to at least... Come on, give me at least one. No, they all left it! Oh, that's so annoying. It seems like maybe I even do a bit of a burst initially with the Saturn Swords as well, or the, uh, whatever the fire one is. Yeah, we need... Some more like passive spells. Oh my god, I hate this guy. This enemy. He just walks around slowly, menacingly, in a way that for this character is annoying. There we go. Good god! That took so much longer. This feels harder, this character. Uh, Orbit you, damage per sword, bolt collar. If we could get that thing that does a percentage damage based off of fire blast that goes stronger the farther it goes. For, create a homing flare for every energy this card costs. Bleed enemies for 80% of card damage. If we can hit with this thing, it's even crazier now. Because it does so much damage, it's just hard to hit. Basic attacks do a bit of damage. I don't know, dude. Orbiting, flame whenever you play a card. That sounds good for this character. Kind of fits the uh, the vibe of what we're already doing anyways. Dude, this is a really good game for for free. You know? Like any like little uh, nitpicks or gripes I have, like they go right to hell when the game doesn't cost money. You know? Like the big things are, uh, are visuals, right? Like just, it's not that it even looks bad. It's just that um, it's, Hard to see stuff sometimes. Goodbye. Yeah, that's good. Okay, back it up, back it up. Got our fire. Oh boy. We can we can do this. There we go. Bye bye. Light him up, strike him down. Okay, yeah, I was, I was, I was greeting. 
Got one at least. At least I got something out of it, right? Okay. All right. That room went way better. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Or maybe it's just that the enemies we fought are a little bit easier for us to deal with here. Magic blade slash with you. Damage per blade. I, I mean... I'll say that growth shot does sound good. Quick pierce sounds hilarious. We have seen all this stuff, though. Well, I guess we haven't seen this, but I don't know how. I, I want to, like... I want to have a tight deck that is super upgraded. I want to see what that is. Another orbiting flame whenever you play a card. I want to do a lot of this if I can find a lot of those. Right. Homing flare whenever you play a card. Sure. 2 HP when an enemy dies. I'd have to do that twice for it to matter. 32 bucks isn't going to make the difference. Yeah, I'd have to do those twice for them to matter. So I guess... I think that they're more appealing when you're just like... Just about where you need to be with money, right? Okay. Chaos. Please. Please! Yes! Oh my god, I thought I got hit there for sure. Please. Holy crap. No! Supreme, supreme. Crazy. Yeah. Ah, I think it's just like, this is a higher skill cap character. Or at the very least, it's like... You're taking a, a game that's using some systems that are already really tricky and you're getting even wackier with it. What am I doing here for this exactly again? Yes, that's right. Oh. He says where he's going. Gotcha. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. Okay. I, I expect, um, I think I expect death. I, okay. Just getting a nice little hit is, is tough here. Dash in. Shoot. I beefed that one. Wow. All right, we, we did it. We still did it. That was wacky. We, we beefed a, um, an orbital strike. Create a damaging pulse for every energy this card costs is good. A laser to the 60% of this. I mean, now I have to care not only about my positioning, but where I'm facing with it. That seems kind of rough. Let's, let's take advantage of the fact that we're going to be trying to position ourselves in the middle of enemies anyways and that it does cost a lot. Decrease enemy damage by one and skip the next increase. I'll just go with the meal, meal kit subscription. This game is so neat for, for the price of free. It's crazy. Like, a lot of really cool concepts are going on here. Okay. What am I done? That man lived that? I'm not exactly sure what the pulse is like there. Okay, he shoots around them. Get ready. Uh-oh, please. Okay, at least I got the bat. Watch out. He does slashes that I, for all I know, could go through the wall and get me. It's happened before. Okay. 
Got him. Don't know which way he's going. Okay. The thing is, you have to take advantage of the fact that it's actually safe to go on top of enemies immediately. Oh, I, I walked right into it. Like, the second they spawn is actually the best time to stand on an enemy. Because there is no contact damage. Only if they're red are you should you be scared. Homing flares? That sounds like a good one for us. I'll add that one. I just realized it doesn't ex say how much it increases it by. I'll do it anyway. Got a lot of money from that one. Flare when you play card. Grab the randoms. Crisp dollar William. More of the good stuff. AKA probably money. Decrease the next damage increase by one. Or decrease damage increase by one and skip the next. So does that skip that one? Ow. Why why even? Why bother? Okay, so they didn't skip that one, so I'm assuming it skips I'm assuming it did skip the other thing. a little bit premature. These enemies are not bad, though. If we just get out of there in time. Homing flares do their thing. I would say, like, it does feel like there should be some kind of um, incentive to thicken your deck, because right now I would say there is no good reason for me to do it other than I feel like I should because this is a video and I want to see the other upgrades, right? Like, for example, I don't know how it would you'd format in this game, but like one step from Eden feels like a weirdly close parallel, like parallel to this game. Considering, um, and what that game does is when you have a deck that gets a little bit bigger, you start to actually um, gain mana regen. So in this game, it could be something that's simple as like. If you have X cards, you gain, um, I don't know, e even if it was just one max energy, I think that that would, that'd be workable, right? Like, if you, I, do, I, I can't deny, I kind of just want to go for it. Okay. I'm assuming that that just will make them take twice as much. I'll go for the max HP, because if we do more damage under half, like, 50%, we're going to be rewarded. Increase... Ooh! Oh! There's character-specific stuff. Cool! Bean Taco. Damage falls whenever you play a card. Max number of dashes. Ooh! I like that. I mean, knowing what we know about how much run is left is maybe not a great call. <laughs> but if we heal back up to full, it is... Uh, it is in our best interest to do what we just did. Alright. I thought I was gonna get him there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Problems abound. Problems abound. Okay, please. Stay there. I can't tell if I got him or not. I'm thinking I did not. Okay, what is... What have I done? What have I done? Created a flurry of garbage that actually worked. We're spamming and relying on the extra... Wow, why'd I do that? Extra summons. 
Well, the, the fact of the matter is, like, I probably kind of can... I can get away with it. Ah, oh, he died already. Curses. I love the increased radius. Yes! No! I don't think I've dashed three times in a row once here. Alright, here we are. Oh, that was my... Oh, my bad. Can okay, wait for him to stand still. It's going to do a silly amount of damage to him over time. Just trying to get back to it, to be honest. Please. Uh, okay, do it now. There we go. Yeah, this one, this attack is weird. Because it looks like a lot's going on, but not that much is going on. If he has another attack, I don't know what it is. Okay. Same thing. Just wait for him to stand still. Okay. Bye-bye. Whoop. Very neat. Very neat. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, let's pop back to the stats screen. I think we'll call it there. I want to leave enough for you guys to you know, be excited and go check out the game for yourself. Like I said, it's free. All it'll take is your time. Uh, my only issues with it are kind of like, it's kind of tough to see the character, <laughs> right? Uh, that is kind of the, the, the biggest thing. If it were ever turned into like kind of a paid thing, I think some kind of setting uh, to improve player visibility in the midst of the chaos, because there's a lot of effects. There's a lot of visual effects going on, a lot of part of cool effects. Spells you know, create blasts of lots of white pixels, and we are like six white pixels ourselves. and some of the spell effects have more pixels than us. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's gonna be very easy to lose your character. I, I did understand it, and like, I got used to it over the course of time. The second character I played was easier to understand where I was because of the orb, but for the other characters, it's a bit tricky in the, in the midst of it, and I'm sure I don't have to convince you guys that, because you had to, you know, you had to find me throughout the video and you didn't know where I was moving. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today. I highly recommend you go play this game. Free is a frankly bonkers price for this game. It should definitely, definitely find a way over onto Steam for some kind of paid amount. Hopefully it gets expanded on, like more content gets added, more relics. Should, like It's one of those great games where just adding more relics and spells is one of the best things you can do. Like maybe for a seam release, slapping a third zone on, or, you know, like third zone that leads up to a new final boss. Do, slapping that on, some new cards, things like that. Ending a run clean at like 30 minutes that way. Mwah. That's that's a paid game right there that people would be happy to pay like a, a little, you know, one of these kind of new budget game prices for, like the three, five bucks. So that, I think people would be very happy for that. I think it's a great game. Uh, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes more every single day. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.